Hey guys, um, just figured I'd upload a video of my new and improved siren. Uh, mainly doing this for Jacob Tomkin, I hope your name's pronounced right there. Um, but I, I told you I have some more videos up soon, so I figured, you know, I got some free time right now, so why not? So, uh, I made some changes to the old siren design, but here it is. We don't get enough sun to have it solely uh, based on the solar power, so I just hooked it up to an AC uh, current to get the power. And then the second wire you see there goes to that light right up there, so the light turns on when I activate the siren. I uh, replace the solar panel with a sign. Uh, I test this every Monday at 4 p.m. Um, and I do weekly tests and a monthly test. A weekly test is just a short message with high low and then post test message. Then the monthly test is a pre-test message, alert, whale, air horn, and then a post-test message. Um, that's where my uh, outlets are hooked up right there in that box. Um, the reason that one has like a jail bar design on it is because I wanted to try and keep snow and rain out of there because I have a speaker in there. I don't want that speaker to get ruined. Um, you're asking well, why'd you put it there then? I said, uh, because I had it facing over that way. And as you can see, there's nothing over there. I've got one facing that way. I've got one facing the house. So, I can get more siren speakers in there now because it's a AC pay, uh, base and I can hook as many outlets and uh, things up to that as I want to. So, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, there's uh, my antenna right there. Another antenna right there. Um, it's customizable. I can make this say they're like an HPFS32, which it is right now, or an HPSS16, because you can see right there, about dead center, there's a nut and bolt. I can uh, unscrew all those speaker heads and uh, take them off. So that's the neat thing about that. And then uh, the reason I have this like this, tied to that, is as you can see, we're getting a lot of wind. And this is all swamp land back here. And so when that ground gets wet, the siren tends to uh, tilt when the wind is really strong. So I don't want this thing blown over. So that's why that's there. As you can see, the siren is connecting Bluetooth to my phone. I don't know why it does that. I guess I can consider that a sound check uh, test method. I don't know. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty interesting siren so it's more durable now since it has metal tins on the uh, top there instead of paper cups I'm proud of myself for that painted it to look like the uh, Akron U modulator with that dark blue color I enjoy that it's uh, very appeasing to the eyes I think so there's one last look at it so Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, tell me what you think.